Earthquakes are something that people think about in Southern California all the time. Right. It's in the back of our minds. And you have said, in your opinion, your expert opinion, we are 150 years overdue for a big earthquake in Southern California. Is that true? Right. Just the San Andreas Fault. Yes. The San Andreas Fault, OK. And that is the biggest threat. And you say we're 150 years overdue. How bad is it going to be when the big one comes? Um, it's going to be th three minutes of shaking mm -hmm. during the event. It was seven seconds in Northridge, for people who remember that. And afterwards, we'll have lost all of the aqueducts coming into Southern California. We'll have broken enough pipes in the ground that it's going to take six months to get water back into all our houses. We'll lose electricity. 1,800 dead, but uh, 300,000 buildings badly damaged. Okay. Yes. So good to have you here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Just a joy. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I, I actually think that the more we understand, uh, the, the better off we'll be. Uh, so what are the biggest misconceptions about earthquakes, in your opinion? What are the things that people think that are just plain wrong? That they're going to die. Most people are afraid of dying in an earthquake. You are far more likely to be murdered in Los Angeles than dying in an earthquake. <laughs> Murder rate sound bad. It's actually showing how few people die in an earthquake. Okay, good. Right, good right. way of getting at it. You were trying to get us to highly, highly unlikely to die in an earthquake, uh, especially if you follow simple rules. Is that, that right? That's right. We say drop, cover, hold on, which means get to the ground before the earthquake throws you there. Mm -hmm. Get under a table if it's nearby. Uh, so you're That's lucky I... the rest of us are sort of... And oh, guess well. what? If these two try to get over to my table, I am shoving them away. <laughs> well, you, you shouldn't try to move this far anyway, because the earth is moving so much. The biggest injury we see is sprained ankles and broken legs from people trying to run during the earthquake, and it throws them to the ground. That and glass in the feet. Right. Because people run through the broken glass. So what you're saying is, has always been my instinct that, uh, I remember I lived here uh, back in the 80s when I was getting started in show business. We had and, a lot of earthquakes then. Yeah, 1880s. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> you know, I lived here back in the 80s and there were a lot of earthquakes and I remember I always stood in a doorway because I was told to do that. You say that that's incorrect. That came from the Red Cross. There was a Red Cross worker who, who saw an adobe house that was destroyed in the earthquake in rubble, and the doorframe was still standing. And they said, hey, that looks like it must be a good place to be. Right. Which is true if you're in a 200-year-old adobe house. Yes. Any other house, it's no stronger than anywhere else, and it usually has a door in it. Right. And that door tends to be moving around and hitting you <laughs> during the earthquake. Thank you, Red Cross. Uh, <laughs> so what you're saying is, uh, what you said is get under any kind of table. Even if, uh, you know, I always think it has to be like a steel reinforced table. You're saying it could be the cheapest, crappiest IKEA table. <laughs> and I, I apologize to the good people at IKEA. I'm just using them as an example. It's a bad table. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Even a bad table is protecting you from the things falling down. Yeah. All right, so the building's probably staying up. What's probably coming down are the lights, unless they've been hooked up, right? I mean, maybe they've out them. Well, no, yeah. not professionally. We didn't. <laughs> I was told that came out of my end of the profit. So no, those right. are just uh, those are just there with gum. But even for, for most places, you're far more likely to be injured by things being thrown around the room, and the table helps. And we've also seen places with really very like spindly little school desks holding up concrete floor. This is, we want to show this yeah. picture. This is from a 1985 Mexican earthquake. And right. look at that. If pe this is just to illustrate that even desks that aren't that strong are protect would protect people and save their lives if they got under them. Those are concrete slabs. It's yeah. holding up a, an awful lot. Right. Yeah. So yeah, it's the best place to be. It doesn't feel the emotional. You know, when, when the earthquake happens and it's terrifying, getting outside is a deep emotional need. But that's the way people get injured. So fight that need. Fight Stay, the need. Get underneath yep. uh, a desk or something like that. There was a something called the uh, triangle theory, mm -hmm. which blew up on the web a couple of years ago, and it said sort of get near something like a chair or something, and and you're you're here to tell us that theory is wrong, 
don't listen to the triangle theory. Don't listen to the triangle of life. Uh, they said that they found a schoolroom of crushed children under their desks in the Mexico City earthquake. You just saw what the Mexico City really looks like. And mm -hmm. besides, the earthquake was at 7 o'clock in the morning, so there were no children in school. So it, that's just an internet rumor, but unfortunately, a lot of people have taken that seriously. Unfortunately, it's been really serious. It's, it's, a, it's a study in viral communication. Yeah. Why did that one get out? Uh, there's one guy promoting it, and right. somehow everybody seemed to believe it. Uh, you also said it's very important to keep sneakers underneath your bed. Why? Well, because broken glass broke is glass, the most right. obvious thing. And um, yeah, I have a friend, I've, I actually started emulating it. Take a pair of sneakers, tie it to your bedpost, put an extra pair of glasses if you need them to find your way out, which I would, uh, and an extra pair of keys, because I'm probably not going to be able to figure out where my keys are at that point and just leave that under my bed, just in case. Right, the other problem we're gonna have is water. Uh, you say that a lot of people have some extra water around the house, but it's not nearly enough water to take care of them for as long as they're going to need before water is brought back, is that right? Yes, okay, so it may take up to six months to get water. Now, you can't store six months of water, but you can have enough to be able to drink for a few days. Um, and then, you know, FEMA's gonna probably be you know, bringing it into us, but do you want to go stand in line to wait for your water, or would you rather have it at home? Uh, so we say, however much water you've been storing, why don't you just, just get some more? So you're, you've got a serious message here, but it does sound like it is actually quite hopeful that you can survive an earthquake. You can, it's actually statistically highly unlikely that someone's going to die in an earthquake. It's just do the smart things and prepare for it. Well, and the other piece is we're going to live through it, but it's probably going to, it could bankrupt you. I mean, do you have earthquake insurance? I do, yeah. All right. You are one of 10% of Californians yeah. that have earthquake insurance. But I have insurance. no other kind. I don't have uh, car insurance or any. I just got <laughs> earthquake insurance. Yeah, right. I have yep. no medical insurance. <laughs> I don't qualify for Obamacare. I'm just all putting it all on the earthquake. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> they don't happen that often. Yeah. So, um, okay. So make sure you get the earthquake insurance if you don't have it. Yeah. Okay. It'll, it, yeah. If you don't have if you don't mind being bankrupt when you've lost your house. Let me ask you one last question. You've devoted your life to earthquakes. You're retiring now before the big one. Is, and this is a little bit of a sick question. Is there some small part of you that's disappointed that you did not hold this position during the big one? I wish I could say it was a small part. <laughs> a big uh, part? Yeah. I spent my life studying this thing. I'd like to know if I was right. Yeah. And, and I'm down to just hoping I live to see it. <laughs> <laughs> let's agree to let's agree to disagree okay i know that i don't want to get in the way of your personal ambition and curiosity but i'm hoping we don't live to see it well, well, well still friends we'll disagree still friends <laughs>